This is Doug Coyle of DJ Coyle Rugby. I'm here with Fossey Fuatai. Uh, Fossey, could you tell us a little bit about your background in rugby? Yep, so I, I started playing rugby from a young age, probably about 12 or 13. It's, um, as you would know, it's, it's the biggest sport in New Zealand, so everyone young plays it uh, casually, socially, and then if, if you're lucky enough to, the, to get to the professional level, um, you carry that on into your adult life. Now you played for the New Zealand uh, All Black Sevens, uh, and uh, last night one of your former mates, I, probably before <laughs> your time, uh, before my time, yeah. uh, one of the coaches of Giltini's, Arani Ae, came out of the stands and played fly half, probably after five year absence of rugby. Yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't actually catch the start of the match, but. Um, when I turned it on and I saw he was starting, I, I thought something was up. But um, hey, look, he's he's still a really classy player, and, and he showed that last night with his maturity and his his skills. Uh, unfortunately, LA weren't um, able to get the job done, but you know he he made it through uninjured. So you know, credit credit to him. Now, is there is there a special haka for the sevens program as opposed to the fifteens? Yep, yep. So uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it. Uh, we didn't win a when uh, um, a tournament when I was playing uh, so I wasn't able to do it but yet there was a different one um, from the 7s and 15s so hopefully when the, when the circuit starts back up and the boys get to play again they'll be able to do it in front of the crowd. Now you and some of your mates are here in the US families back home what are some of the challenges how do you um, stay connected to family members? Yeah so probably I would say three quarters of our team have uh, have family overseas or, or back home for me it's New Zealand um, obviously it's got it's got its challenges um, but in a way it galvanizes the team you know we've we all live together in, in the apartments not far away from here um, we've got to stick close to each other you know we go to dinners we go to lunches out for coffees uh, but basically this is our family away from home and um, we've become really tight over the last uh, six six seven weeks and uh, I'm sure down the track, down the down the line in the season, it will, it will only make us stronger, and, and hopefully, we can carry it on to the postseason. What are some of your best memories of being in the New York area? Oh well, obviously, obviously Manhattan. I've done a bit of exploring. Um, I've probably only done twenty percent of it, to be honest. Uh, you can just get on the path train or the subway, um, start at World Trade Center, and just work your way up. I did a probably did a walking tour on one of our off days. Um, got halfway up the city and, and I was a bit tired so I turned back home but I think all the all the restaurants all the all the sights to see the Empire State um, it's, you're just so lucky and fortunate that it's basically in your backyard and you can go check it out whenever you want well enjoy the experience being in New York and good luck in the rest of the season yeah awesome thank you very much thanks cheers cheers